Should Haley Deegan move up to the Xfinity Series in 2024? Haley Deegan's back-to-back -back top 15 finishes have some NASCAR fans wondering, should she be promoted to the Xfinity Series in 2024? And listen, Tom Brady, nobody expected him to be a good quarterback until he got his promotion. Barbie, nobody expected that to make almost a billion dollars. Maybe what's really holding Haley Deegan back from being truly great is being in the Truck Series. And before you come at me in the comments, I'm 100% kidding here, but let's argue both sides real quick and take a look at what Haley Deegan's done up to this point. On the surface, looking at her performance in the Truck Series doesn't exactly warrant uh, any argument for a promotion. If you just take a look at it real quick, she has zero top five finishes, four top tens, and an average finish of 21.3 in 62 career Truck Series starts, doing this all in grade A equipment, and meanwhile, her teammates in that same equipment are going on to win multiple races and contend for championships. This year alone, Thor Sport does have a couple championship favorites as well. Once again, and Haley Deegan can't really get anywhere near the top 10. So on performance alone, you can't really say that it warrants the promotion to the Xfinity Series, but I will say this, in her lone Xfinity start in 2022 for SS Greenlight Racing, she did record a top 13 finish, finishing 13th. It sounds better when you say top 13 though. So maybe, maybe the Truck Series are holding her back. Listen, not every driver's style is suited for the Truck Series. We saw Harrison Burton not win in a KBM truck, which is almost impossible, although Jack Wood and Chase Purdy certainly aren't going to do it, but at the time, Harrison Burton not winning in a KBM truck was a bit of a shock. But then he moves up to JGR, thanks to his budget from Dex Imaging, takes over that 20 car in the Xfinity Series, and he rattles off four wins in one season. You also have Derek Krause, who in the truck series looked like a rookie Cole Trickle, just driving around hitting absolutely anything and everything. He gets dropped by Mac and Alley's team. He moves over to the Xfinity Series, making select starts for college this year, and he's looked rather respectable, to the point where they even put him in J uh, AJ Allmendinger's car at Richmond to do the practice and qualifying sessions. So maybe, maybe Haley Deegan falls in that same boat. Maybe the truck series are what holding her back, and she needs to move up to Xfinity because that style of racing suits her better. Haley's future is completely contingent on what her budget is and sort of what Ford wants to do with her in the direction that they want to move her going forward because performance-wise, she doesn't warrant a promotion to the Xfinity Series. Nobody's hiring her to drive a funded car at this point. Everybody keeps mentioning, oh, Stuart Haas should put her in the 98 if Riley Hurst moves on or the double zero if Cole Custer moves on. There's no reason to do that unless she brings a budget with her. And if she does, that's totally fine. She can move up to Xfinity because we've obviously seen far worse drivers race in the Xfinity Series before. Joey Gase, Jesse Wuji, just to name a couple. Connor Mozak continues to wreck race cars literally every other weekend, and he still has a funded ride, and TRD believes in him for whatever reason. But if Haley Deegan does move up, again, it's not the worst thing that we've ever seen happen in the Xfinity Series, but it's not going to be because of her performance on track. And maybe the Xfinity cars do suit her style better, right? Maybe she likes to drive a, a loose race car. Maybe the Truck Series are just too planned into the ground, and she can't do it. The Xfinity Series does race a little bit more respectfully than the Truck Series does, at times, not 100%. But at the same time, the Haley Deegan experiment might just be coming to an end, which is fine, because it happens to a lot of drivers, and she's made it further than some, like, she's at least run multiple NASCAR seasons. Dylan Wozneski never got to say that, and he's selling real estate now. Haley Deegan was on the Barstool NASCAR podcast this past week, and she said, I love that she said, I'll, I'll, I'll say numbers, like we pretty much know what the numbers are to run a competitive truck in a competitive Xfinity Series program. She's like, you need to bring $5 million a year to run an ex uh, a successful Xfinity program, a competitive one. And like, that's not a shock. And honestly, like that's really not that bad considering it's 33 races and it's a pretty decent exposure too for the sponsors. Is she going to be able to come up with $5 million? I don't know. I'm sure she could have maybe back at the height of her popularity, but because of her lack of performance, it's been harder for her to get sponsors to come along. Monster Energy doesn't sponsor her the same way that they sponsor Riley Herbst, thanks to his parents, or Ty Gibbs in the Cup Series, Tyler Reddick as well. And the money, there's only a finite amount to go around for sponsorship in terms of the Monster Bucket, and I just Haley's just not performing and not really warranting enough to get from that. She could also get with the four backing that she currently has um, as well. And honestly, like, not sure what that's going to do or how far they're willing to take it. And again, the Ford Xfinity seats are pretty limited, at least in competitive ones, because you have basically two that are out there. And those are both the SHR seats at the 98 and the double zero. Roger Penske's not starting back up the 22 Xfinity program for Haley Deegan unless she brings just an absolute boatload of cash, and so far we haven't seen that happen. Obviously, there's some seats possibly available at like SS Greenlight or the Siegs 
uh, team running the 28, 38, or 39, which are competitive cars. They're not bad cars by any means. They're definitely the upper echelon of the midfield, and they can dabble around in top 10s every now and then. But the future for Haley Deegan just doesn't really seem like it's going to go much further than the truck series, and it seems like the hype around her has definitely died down. She does have her ARCA series wins, which again is good for her. She was able to put herself in position to win those races, but her equipment was also top-notch at that point too. And in the ARCA series, Equipment can mask a lot of deficiencies. We've seen that happen with multiple drivers that have come up over the years. And, well, it didn't help Natalie Decker, but that was a ricochet shot. I apologize to Natalie Decker. Her family is lovely. But at the same time, Haley Deegan just, I think that that ship has probably sailed its course, docked, and that might just be the end of it. It might be time to head back to off-road racing or, or whatever else. She could be an auto influencer or something along those lines, but it seems like the NASCAR experiment, at least, has sort of fizzled out. So let me let me know. Do you think she should be in the Xfinity Series next year? Uh, in the comments, who do you think she should race for? Should she stay in the Truck Series? Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram, Twitter, and Threads at Break Hard Blog.